Weber. I am a senior reactor operator at the Monticello Nuclear Power Plant. I started working for Excel Energy in 2009 in engineering, and in 2013, I transitioned to my current role in operations. I am here to show you a little bit about what it might look like as a non-licensed or outplant operator here at Excel Energy at either our Monticello or Prairie Island nuclear power plants. Since I work for Monticello, we will be showing you equipment from Monticello, but Prairie Island is very, very similar. I am currently standing on top of the reactor at Monticello, and one thing you might think is, oh my goodness, she's probably getting exposed to a lot of radiation. Well, we have these dosimeters that track how much radiation we're getting exposed to. And you can see from mine, I have a zero. So even though there is a operating reactor beneath my feet, so you can see from this circle hatch, that's uh, part of containment, uh, that I am being exposed to no additional radiation. So we'll talk more about radiation later in our presentation, but remember, top of the reactor, no radiation, additional exposure. Another task you would do as a non-licensed operator or outplant operator is raking the bar rack. So this trolley you see right here in the middle of the rack, that moves up and down these the bars beneath it, and that can be used to help filter and pick out any debris that may come in from the river that makes it past what's called our log boom. So the log boom is designed to push the big trees and big pieces of material floating down the river away. Some still does get into our intake and that is what the bar rack is designed to prevent from getting into the suction of our pumps. I am currently in our diesel fire pump room. This is a pump that's right here behind me that runs on diesel fuel. It is for emergency fire loads. So if there was a fire in the plants and our fire system went off, this pump would be one of three that would supply water to the fire system. It also can be used for an emergency injection source into the reactor. As a non-licensed operator, we do run this pump for testing and you will be using the control panels in the red box right here and monitoring performance of the pump as it goes through its testing cycle. Here we are in one of our two emergency diesel generator rooms. Each reactor has two emergency diesel generators. So at Monticello we have two. At Prairie Island, since they have two reactors, they have four diesel generators. Each of our generators is designed to start and load within 10 seconds. They provide 4,000 volts of electricity to safety related loads. As you can hear, since it's pretty quiet, this diesel is currently not operating at this time. When nuclear power, if you need one, then we have two at a minimum. So behind me, Right here through this door, we have our other diesel generator. It looks pretty much the same as the diesel generator right here in this room. As a turbine building qualified non-licensed operator, what you'd be doing with the diesel generator is you would be using these control switches right here to start the diesel generator for monthly testing, making sure it starts properly and adjusting the speed and voltage so when we tie this diesel generator to our electrical distribution system for testing that they are in sync and no damage is caused. Here we are in the high pressure coolant injection room at the Monticello plant. Despite the background noise, this system is actually in standby. This system is designed to run off of steam and DC power only. Uh, the steam does come from the reactor. So should we have an event where we don't have any AC power from the grid, neither of our emergency diesel generators start, this system is capable of injecting water to the reactor core. So one of the things you might notice is, while this is a tall room, so one of the requirements or activities you will be asked to do is to climb a lot of stairs and a lot of ladders. The final tier of non-licensed operator qualifications is to be reactor building qualified. You'll likely first be qualified in the outside areas, then the turbine building, and lastly the reactor building. So this task would be performed by a reactor building qualified non-licensed operator. And what you would do for this system is you would fill up a test tank, which is in the back, and you would start a pump and you would route the flow path through the system back to the test tank. And what we're doing there is verifying that these pumps provide the required flow in order to perform should there be an accident or event that would require the use of them. An important part of 
operating our reactors is water chemistry. We have multiple systems that will process, purify, and clean up water that we put into the reactor. This is our rad waste control room. This is where a reactor building operator would operate switches in order to process that water and send it back into the plant. We hope that gave you an overview of what it might be like to be an outplant operator at the Monticello or Prairie Island nuclear power plants. We look forward to teaching you more about our plants should you choose to come join us here.